Hello, dear viewers. Today I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial on using the developer level editor of Pretty Fish Maze Madness. This is a hidden level editor, a hidden in the game's files that lets you do everything. It's not like the one that you see, the one that they let you see in the game. It uh, like like uh, you'll basically overwrite the actual game's levels. Now, to start with, you're going to want to copy all of the files from your CD and, you know, paste in some folders so you can edit everything. Now, if you're running a 32-bit, uh, you know, uh, version of Windows, you can just run the maze.exe file, or, you know, you could run this and then run it, play through there. If you're using a 64-bit version of Windows, which you probably are, you're going to need to get rid of this maze.exe file, so let's go, we'll, re we'll rename it. And this maze.w32, you're going to rename to maze.exe. And, yep, it's actually a uh, exe file. A lot of uh, Humongous games actually have that where uh, they have a backup, you know, thing like that. So, it'll, so they, they have a, a launcher that is 32-bit, which is pretty generous of them, I'll say. And you're going to want to run this at least once. You can also, if for some reason you're using Windows 3.1, you'll need to, you'll technically need to run this first, but you're probably not, so... You'll also probably want to go in the compatibility mode, and you'll select, you know, reduced color mode, and uh, you'll want to run it in 640 by 480. That'll actually muck up with my recording, though, so I'm not doing that. And there's it checking my disk speed. If you could catch that, quick thing. All right, that's probably enough. So on our local disk, as you can see, it created an HE Games folder. Nothing in it. Now, what you're going to do is you want to go to the user account you're using. Go to your app data folder. It's local, virtual store, and then Windows. And it should have created this uh, configuration uh, file here. It's hegames.ini. So we're going to open that with uh, Notepad. And Maze, which is the uh, game we're concerned with. If, if, if you have other uh, Humongous games, of course, they'll probably have some more here. We're gonna have, you're gonna wanna add at somewhere under there, ret cool equals one, and save it. So that's R-H-E-T-T-C-O-O-L equals one. In case you're not be looking at the wind, in case you're not looking at the video, which would be rather strange, but that'll open up debug mode. So whenever we run it, let's just put this in windowed mode. And we're gonna open up a game, so just, you know, start playing, you know, the game. And we'll press E. Oh geez, what's this? Yes, this is the, uh, in level editor, so right off the bat, it's kind of doesn't look that that much intuitive, but don't worry, we'll I'll try to explain as best I can. This set button here will cycle through various uh, types of tiles you can place. So these are sort of the objects in the level. This, for example, is like the starting position, and you can cycle through, you know, stuff within those uh, sets. So this will send us uh, starting upward. These are some of the, uh, you know, background, like, uh, the, the borders of the level. You're gonna have to, you know, <laughs> unfortunately, you have to figure out how everything, uh, fits together to make it look aesthetically pleasing. Um, unless you're me and you just want to do this. Uh, you have things like, uh, you know, the kelp seeds. These are the, uh gates that use the sea urchins to pass through. Um, so you, it, it takes a second to, you know, after a while you'll kind of remember where everything is, I think. Um, let's just add an uh, enemy. Let's, uh, the second crab is actually the uh, puffer fish, so there's that. And if we press go, we get to test the level. Now, testing the level like this doesn't actually work uh, for everybody, I found out. Some people are claiming that they, uh, are pressing go and it's crashing. I don't know what causes that, but luckily, if it does, don't worry. What you can do is you can just uh, 
you can save the level. I'll just uh, name uh, a file anything. Let's just call it a uh, cave one. And also, if you want to remove an object, or a top, uh, just uh, right click like that. This bot thing at the bottom right here uh, changes the background, so yeah, it looks uh, more normal. These are background objects, so as you can see, we have this is actually the cave for the bonus level, and you know you can add extra little things. Um, the only functional the one the only one I know that's actually functional is uh, a that uh, bonus door and B there's gonna be coming up some here we go these things that you know squirt water so if you want to uh, indicate to your player that there's a current water current there that's how you do it I believe it's over here sorry I'm trying to remember where it is these are actually the staffs for the bonus gate so if you put a staff here and we put a uh, you know Bonus uh, thing here. Oh, we actually have to place the actual wand itself somewhere because that will just trigger the wand. But we have to. Here we go. And that'll appear for thirty seconds. And there we go. And it's probably gonna crash on us, I assume. Yep. And uh, if you load it up, Cave 1, you can do it again. Now, that's how you can play individual caves of your level. Um, what Every level in the game, if you don't know, can have uh, six caves. Five of them are for, you know, uh, normal gameplay, and the sixth is that bonus cave. Um, what, what you do in order to uh, amalgamate them is to, uh, you need to open them up in a hex editor, and uh, we'll demonstrate that in a second. If we go back to pressing E there. Now we're going to put something here called cave to two. And that means uh, the cave to the second uh, room. So we'll save this. Uh, we'll overwrite cave one. And then what we'll do is we will... We're going to make the room identical, mostly. Except we're going to remove these. And instead we will have a... Uh, here we go. Uh, cave to one. So it will go. Well, if we save this as cave two, uh, just you know, putting a few extra tiles here. And the bonus room cannot can stop being there. Okay. Do note if you place a bonus date uh, thing, it's difficult to delete. Oh wait, unless you select this and then delete it. There we go. Okay. Save this as cave two. And then for a third thing, what we'll do is we will uh, remove all this, and we'll create just a third bonus cave of sorts. You have to place another start uh, icon for that. And it, and it, it just uh, s makes you stay there till the time limit. We're gonna save it as cave six. Now what we're gonna do is we open up this hex editor here, right? And we're gonna put all uh, three of these caves in. And you're gonna copy and paste uh, at the end of this. So uh, first one's cave one, cave uh, two, and for cave six. Um, since every level has, you know, six caves, we're going to put, you know, four more of these. And I guess we'll just save this as cave one. By, uh, this cave one is, if you're not paying attention, is now uh, level one um, because it has uh, all six of the things in it. Now this maze.h8 uh, maze file is actually what contains all of the game's levels, so when you want to run it, uh, just rename whatever file you, uh, it made as maze.he8. Uh, 
And then when you run the game normally... It has our level that we made. So as you can see, uh, this cave will take us to uh, the second cave. If we get all four of the kelp seeds, we finish the level, of course, if you know how the game works, but... What I'm gonna do if I can remember where I put that uh, scepter. There we go. Let's make that pepperfish to go away. And um, I did not do that very skillfully, but uh, yeah. This will uh, keep us in here for another like uh, 60 seconds or so, but yeah. This is technically a functional level, so that's that's the basics of how you do it. Um, other things to note are the background music is decided by uh, it's decided by you know these back these uh, border tiles that uh, I put here, but um, I'm not sure which one it picks. Like uh, I'm not sure if it's using the uh, you know the music for like the uh, levels uh, 16 through 20, or if it's using the music for like. Uh, Levels uh, 20 through 25. Because I have these two different tiles here. And also, if you if you open up debug mode, you press quit, it shows the ending. So if you want to see the ending, uh, that's an easy way to do it. And those are the basics.